In this video, I will show you how I use TensorFlow Playground to classify the spiral dataset. In 1989, Shebenko suggested that one hidden layer is sufficient. This means that neural networks with one hidden layer can predict an output or a close approximation of an output even if the output is complicated like the one year. Shebensko's theorem states you need only one hidden layer to create a model with a close approximation. I started by setting the ratio of training to test data to 80%. With just two features, X1 and X2, and one hidden layer with three and more neurons, I observed that the test loss and training loss were pretty high despite hyperparameter tuning. I decided to perform feature engineering by adding x squared and sine x features. Given a total of 6 input features, I reduced the learning rate to 0.03 when I noticed the learning was unstable. I then changed the activation function from tan h to relu. I also used an L2 regularization to reduce overfitting since the test loss was high. With one hidden layer, the performance was better with 8 neurons. The test loss was 0.031 and the training loss was 0.008. You can see that the neural network is learning the data. It seems to be doing a good job of classifying the spiral data. Next, I decided to reduce the number of input features to 4 using x and x squared features. In this case, the learning weights were much higher and learning looked unstable. After about 600 epochs, the test loss was 0.038 and the training loss was 0.009. Finally, I reverted to my model with 6 input features and changed the regularization to L1 and that gave me the best result. The test loss was 0.028 and the training loss was 0.004 after about 700 epochs. So, Shebenko was right after all. We can create a model with a close approximation with just one hidden layer.